region and period. Rarity value drops if the eyes are already painted in. Okay, anyway. Alright, we can talk to him first. Filio, the witness. There hadn't been any prisoners going on or off that island for years. But I saw him bring a new one over there. And it was a feeble old man too. Poor guy. I hope they haven't tortured him to death by now. No Lucy in my main party. Uh, not currently because she's over over leveled. But I'm just going to switch bring her back pretty soon. Nothing personnel. 79, 33, 33. Yeah, they're all going to get a level pretty soon. So I'm probably going to bring the girls back in again. Because they're behind again. Uh, That's a good... Good reminder. Let's see, who am I gonna swap out? So I can swap out um Yuachim and uh Geppetto. And welcome yeah, happy Halloween. Yeah, Geppetto's already too buff now. So I gotta bring in the uh the ladies again. Oh, you're going to Belgium. Oh awesome! Oh yeah, the candy will be probably way cheaper now. Huh? Oh, what the heck? What's this? You got grass oil. That's gonna be useful for Lucy if she ever needs to use it. She's already really strong. Oh, and congratulations! Halloween tips. Speaking, yeah, I know we won't be near. We're in. This is in France, Ken. I think Yuri was amazing character design. Yeah, cool. Wait, I don't know why we're talking about Yuri's character design. It's okay. Loudcroft says, "I want to ask you something. Do you like treasure hunts? Oh, helpless idiot. By the way, welcome." The dark chocolate, the very dark chocolate is bitter because it has no sugar. White chocolate is not actually chocolate, it's cream, but anyway, don't worry. We all call it white chocolate here. Huh? Well, do you or don't you? I'll ask you one more time. Do you like treasure hunts? Y yeah, I, I love them. Good answer. So, you like hunting for treasure. Do I want some Belgian chocolate? Oh, thank you for offering. And yes. Very yes. Well, I love hiding it. So you guys all like looking for it. Let's have a little competition, okay? You got treasure. Done. What's this scrap of paper? It's an encoded note that shows where I hit the treasure. Treasure hunt, yay. If you can figure out the code, you'll find great treasure, and you'll win. That's good. But if you can't find the treasure, and the code is too hard for you, then I win. Get it? No, thank you very much, Persephone. I know we're discussing personal uh, affairs here, but it's not really that personal. The fact that I'm getting choked. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I'll give it a try. Try and find the treasure. If you can't win, then I'll be the winner. Yeah, Belgium is famous for chocolates. That's exactly why we're discussing it. I don't think Belgium shows up in this game. Wannabe movie critic Fabio. There are no decent movies left. I've seen all there is to see. I'm so bored. To be fair, at this point in time, he... There were not that many movies because, um, I mean, trim technology, filming te film technology was so primitive back then. If you think about it, this is World War One. Yeah, let's look at a scrap of paper just to see what we can find. Scrap up here. So it's kind of interesting. I don't remember if the Ken Film Festival was like made here. You could have given the movie to the boy as well, but it's not really important. Oh well, sucks to be him. I'm just kidding. So let's look at the treasure script here. 
In the building with the row of cells is a thick chain connected to a huge dog. At the end of the chain is hidden an important treasure. A huge dog, huh? <laughs> building with the row of cells. Okay. Okay, that might be good. So, chain and dog. Old 1910s animations are pretty dear. History of animation class, we saw some of the old, real old ones. Yeah, the frame rate wasn't amazing on them, but I mean, given what it is... Romeo the Bartender. Lately, I've been mixing all kinds of things together, trying to come up with my own unique cocktail. Cool. Nelson the Steph the Stevedore. Oh wow. What's with you guys? Never seen you around before. I don't like strangers, so leave me alone. Don't get all crabby on us now. Yeah, we may be strangers, but we've got a very special favor to ask. A favor? What is it? I ain't doing nothing for free, you know. We want you to take us to St. Marguerite Island. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that! Are you crazy? What business you got with that old hellish prison? You've heard of Sapientos, Sapientis Gladio, haven't you? Anastasia? Anastasia? What? Are you fellows of the Secret Society? I ain't said a word. I done just like I was told, and never told nobody I was about hauling that load over there. By load? Do you mean an old man? You helped the society imprison an innocent old man, so you're their pawn, eh? Russia? A Russian name? Huh. No way! I hauled an old, old man over there, but I ain't no pawn! Look, I'm, I'm sorry, alright? What are you gonna do with me? Don't tell me you're gonna kill me! Nah, don't worry. We're not like those so secret society scum, you know? Just tell us how we can get over to the island. That way, you can keep from getting involved, right? Okay, sure. My boat is tied up outside. You can use that to go over with. Wonders how people can use- Well, Anastasia is the name of- I mean, that name is most famous for being the name of one- The oldest princess of the Russian- The last Russian royal family. The Romanov, Romanov in uh, Russia. It was the last one before the Bolshevik Revolution, which made Russia communist, essentially. The simple version. And they made a big animated movie about Anastasia because they thought that the oldest princess had gone missing. But she, it, it, that's not true. She was killed alongside the entire royal, royal family. Very unfortunate. And, there, and this here key opens the door to the waterway. I'll let you borrow it. The door to the waterway? Okay. You got waterway key. Thanks. We appreciate it. There's your quick Russian history rest lesson. That was like in the 19... Actually, funny thing is that at this point in time, Anastasia, the princess, should be alive. It wasn't until like late... Uh... It wasn't until like late World War One when the the royal fam no it was after World War One then the royal family was uh, killed when the Bolshevik Revolution I think that's like late World War One so it might be too early for that because I I have to check the, the dates you won't tell anybody will ya nah don't worry about a thing just drink up and go to bed. Well, are we going to actually meet the Russian royal family? I don't think we are. That doesn't make any sense given where we are in the game. 
the Russia. Well, I get. I guess Russia was actually allied with France, but they were certainly not allied with Prussia. They were fighting against Prussia. Now what you want? I already loaned you my boat and my key. Now just leave me alone. Okay, man. Jeez. Is this on PC, PS2 or PCSX2? Uh, this is on the real PS2. I'm using a, not using an emulator. Although, yes, you can play that game with the emulator too. And I think at this point, PCSX2 is probably a lot better. And welcome, Celestial. Ow. Or Celestial OW. I'm just kidding. There aren't many new customers. Is this bar gonna go under? And here I finally found a job too. Oh, poor Mina. Anatole, giving people the eye. Oh, you charming young man. Oh, you charming young man. Buy me a drink. Buy me a drink? Fine, I guess I'll buy you a drink. Why, thank you. Let me give you this as a small token of my appreciation. It will always remind you of me. You got Mr. Samurai. Mr. Samurai. I wish they would fix the version on emulator. Oh, it is? Oh, does it not run very well? You're just as fit as those men on the cards. Ever thought of becoming a model? That necklace would cover enough up. Oh boy. I guess I know what I guess I know which way you swing. Let's go ahead and look at the Mr. Samurai. Samurai. Uh, let's see. So that means I also can turn it in for a dress. Ooh. Ogasawara. Ogasawara, the last sa samurai, still hanging onto his sword. With it stuck in his loincloth, he cuts a dashing figure that no woman or man can resist. Okay, thank you. The last samurai posing on a picture. Half, uh, pretty much almost naked. Well, I guess some people are into that. Not some people, many people. The cards are to- I had to turn it- use it to turn it in to get a dress for Geppetto's, uh, weapon. Or puppet. They should be around here somewhere. Canborn. Maravel. Welcome to Can. It's a beautiful city, huh? Ton of tons of trade goes on in the port here. The seafood's great too. Not to mention the lottery. I love it. Let's play. Uh, not right now. What? Get a life, wet blanket. Oh, jeez. Okay. Dang. Can you like calm down? Anyway, we can. Tr let's trade for the dress now. Man, this is actually quite a large town. Long time no see, people. You can't know how happy I am to see you. What are we doing here, you ask? Why, we're flat broke. Not a penny to our names. Say, I've got some time on my hands. Shall I sew you something? Oh, so this is nostalgia. So you must have played this when the game came out in 2004? -ish? Yeah, please. You played this game for a hundred of hours, I'd get everything. Wow. Okay, I, I don't need to read this. Uh, let's see. So, I could get water, fire, I already got that. I already got wind. So, I could get light or dark. Uh, I'll get light for now. Here you go. I don't need to read that. I read that all the time. So, yeah, that means you must know the game. Presenting the latest creation from my 1915 Pierre Magimé collection, I call it. If it's 1915, oh, I'm sorry. Which company made Shadow Hearts? It was used to be Sacknoth, and then it became part of the big company called Aruze. Um, Aruze, yeah. So Sacknoth was Aruze. It was part became part of Aruze. Uh, Midway is just the publisher, so they did not develop the game. Angel of Light. Ooh, you can now use Holy Cast. 
Uh, yeah, so Midway is the publisher, because the previous one was published by, uh, I don't remember. Was it Ubisoft? I think it was Ubisoft, but anyway. The developers no longer exist. I mean, I think they got absorbed by Marvelous, and then I don't know what happened. Uh, we d we're not entirely sure what happened. But I don't think the team is together anymore. Anyway, I don't need to read those, because that's the same. Alright, so now we have a dress ready for Geppetto. I need to say before I do the... I'm glad you like it so much. Yeah, I don't know where the... So Aruze owns the rights, but Aruze just makes uh, pachinko games right now. So I don't know. I don't know how the... I don't know who would own the rights or how they would do it. But someone has to push for it, but I have no idea who would do it. Which is really unfortunate. It's kind of like lost in that, like, who really owns the IP. Having a pleasant journey, people? You can't know how happy I am to see you. Why, you ask? Well, if you must know, I frittered away everything I had at the casinos in Monaco. Now, won't you buy something? A remastered version of the game. Yeah, I know, it's unfortunate. Yeah, the Shanghai team is more iconic. I I don't know, like, they really, like, they're like, no town theme. There is something I'd like. Okay, so we can now go for the 30% discount. Uh, is there anything I want to get from here? I could get another Thera Seed. Um, the Soul Benediction, Talisman of Luck. We actually have quite a lot of these now. Uh, but I have another tent. Do I have gauntlet? So yeah, there's no um, weapon upgrades I can get at the moment. It's actually amazing how good like selling items is now. Oh, but we have new armor! Yeah, so I wanna may want to bring in... Um, oh, that's a lot of money to throw to armor. But we can definitely do it. Let's do Dursert Cloak first. Yeah, they remastered... Uh, Yes, they remastered Spiral Trilogy is coming out really, really soon. I have never played them, so I have no opinion on them either one way or the other. I did not... Okay. I did not actually have a PlayStation until I was in college. So that was, like, much later. I did not have... And I couldn't didn't have easy access to one. So... Like a PlayStation 2. Not even a PlayStation 1. So I had player um, friends with PlayStation 1s, but I did not... I myself didn't have one. Uh, let's see. And now you can play FF10 and FF12 on a Nintendo console. It's kind of weird. And then on Xbox. So, congratulations to everybody. Uh, so yes, and Capcom is... Re uh, no, we're doing game news now. Capcom is doing uh, a remake of Onimusha, which I have not played before either. It was really big news when it came out. All right, I got everything. That's 42 points. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and equip the new armor. Yeah, let's get the desert cloak. Desert cloak. Uh, not you. I want to give. Yeah, only Musha remastered and Capcom. So on everything. I have not played Onimusha. I only know... Is it the one with ya Yakyu Jubei? Am I remembering it correctly? Yes. Yay, I remember correctly. Cool. Uh, let's see. Let's sell what I have. I like Onimusha. Nice. There's a lot of games. There are a lot of games I have played, but there's a lot of games I have not played, so. I'm always looking for interesting games. Always. Although I don't need more games to play, honestly. <laughs> Genji. Grandia 3, I have played. Uh, Genji, I have not. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. <laughs> Whew. Okay. So, 7,000, so we might have enough to buy uh, the rest of the team. Okay, okay, I'm gonna pass through this. Yeah, sorry, I'm still doing inventory. 
Uh, I can get Desert Cloak or Long Robes. Long Robes gives better, um... Long Robes is better for magic defense, so I'm not sure which direction I want to go with. Um, maybe I will get Long Robes too, and then, like, I might give Desert Cloak to, um, Blanca. I have enough, so I can do that. And let me do that. Always drive for discount, please! Okay. Ah, that's so scary. Um, I mean, they remastered Grandia to a Tenshu. Interesting. When will they release an official emulator that gets supported by most game companies? Probably never. Unfortunately. Well, that's not true, actually. They do release official emulators nowadays, especially like Sega is doing Sega Ages for like older Sega titles. Um, and they're remaking like games like Romancing Saga and uh, why did I say it like a Japanese way? Romancing Saga and <laughs> Grandia 2 because it was more well better received. Unfortunately, that seems to be the case. I'm, I'll be honest, I am i don't love Grandia 3, but it was still fun to play. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna do emulation. I mean, like, it's a console release, or sometimes they do uh, emulated, like Sega Ages is more of an emulator. So there's a companies like M3 that make, em that are create, they sell the game, but the game is running on a custom emulator for that game. It's kind of interesting. So it works a lot like how the, the Wii Virtual Console worked. Wait. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I was like, not Silk Shawl. Why am I trying to get that? Uh, you want Desert Cloak, and you want Long Road. Cool. Okay, let's just sell off the rest. I really want to play the first two Grandias. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I also am very curious to play them because I have not played Grandia 1 and 2, and I've heard they're very, very good. It's very unfortunate, and like, it might as well, in kind of in dedication to the creator of Grandia, who sadly passed away. Very sad. It's unfortunate, it was sickness too, so it's not, uh, natural, not technically natural causes. So it's really unfortunate that that happened. Yeah, and I beat the third game as well. I find out Fina Q. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the game. I did enjoy it. I'm not sure if I would put it in my favorites, but uh, yeah, please understand, it's nothing personal. And like, I think I could see some of the ambition they had, but I don't know. I don't feel the story is one of the stronger points, and the battle system, the battle system's fun. All right. Anyway, I'm done shopping here. So, I should have all the correct... Yeah, that should give me still a decent amount, chunk of change. So, so far I haven't been dying of, like... Yeah. For that time, it is PS2 era, so I did have... Okay, so I believe the boat is here. So, if I need to get out of here, I will have to use this boat, which I will not use right now. I'm gonna save and make sure to get the... Um... Yeah, you're comparing Grand... Like, there's a lot of PS2. Um, some pretty decent PS2 RPG, RPGs, like, um... I mean, JRPGs, I guess just... If we're just talking about Japanese RPGs, then it'll be... There's, like, Dragon Quest VIII, Final Fantasy XII... FF10... Oh, good! I did enjoy that. I didn't stream it, but I played it before I started streaming. Adeline says, I know, I could talk about games all day. But anyway, I've always wanted this Coral Laria. It may would make me feel so special. Well, I can I get it? Should I get it for you? Baldwin, Baldwin says, Wanna hear a secret? A couple of nights ago, I got up at night to pee, and I saw a big airship in the sky. PS2 were the real indie days. Um, I don't know if I quite agree with that, but... Okay, we'll need to go back to the cans here. Um... I will say that as... Okay, guys, so background, I'm a game developer as well. And, like, coding a game has never been easier because of the ease of access. In the PS2 days, we'd have to pay, like... Can I disclose that? I can't disclose it, it's, it's really old, but like, you had to pay thousands of dollars to get a kit 
in order to make a PS2 game. So it was not easy. You couldn't be a garage in a garage and make a PS2 game. And like the tools for the PS2 were really not great. I know, I'm sorry. I feel like I feel like Debbie Downer. I'm like, yeah guys, you know, although the games are really great from that era, like developer like tools from that era aren't that great. I mean, this is not exclusive to the PS2. It was like the GameCube was a pain. The Xbox was actually quite progressive for that time in terms of development tools. Unfortunately, the, the Xbox didn't, doesn't, nobody cares about the Xbox outside of the US and the UK back then. And that's probably now too. So like, Microsoft is really good at development tools. So they're definitely, but things have changed and now there's Unity and Unreal Engine and it makes games make it easier. But I mean, on the one hand, it's also it's great for developers. On the other hand, I'm guessing it might create consumer confusion because there's a lot of games to sift through. But I don't know. I guess it's better that it's better that people can make their vision happen. I guess it's just curation is always a difficult thing. I know I'm getting into like game industry stuff. But it is true that in the PS2 days, you didn't have to spend nearly as much budget to make a big game, so to speak, like triple A or double A is what we call it. So it is true that the like now games cost too much to make because everyone needs the 4K or like at least 1080p assets and it's kind of like crazy too. So that means everything takes way, way, way too long. Everything takes longer and it costs more money and it's really hard because like consumer expectations have gone skyrocketing. Anyway, let's try it for the lottery ticket. I do have, I do want to get that Marchosius. Marchosius? All right. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I got it. I don't know if I got it. I don't know if I got it. Yes, I got it. Wow, you're riding with Lady Luck today. Yeah, wait. That's not what I wanted. Okay, well, I have another lottery ticket, so. I've actually gotten quite a few. A few, sorry. I got the blue one. I did not want the blue one. I don't know if that's good enough. Yes, I got it. Marchosius. Whew, okay. Thanks. If you're in Canada, get coming by and give another try. Okay, good. I hope that's not fatal that I used to. I could you I could just reload. Yay, save scumming. Save scumming. But yeah, so I don't know, it's kinda weird. With PS2, like that era, like the PS2 GameCube Xbox era. Games didn't cost as much to make, so I guess the bigger companies, and there were more middle-level companies. But, um... At the same time, it does mean... It meant that, act like, like really, like, smaller companies had a really tough time. So you have to, like, give... Save scummy is for the honor list. Oh, no, no problem. Alright, I'll see you, Celestial. Thank you for stopping by. Alright, let's try it for it. Did we get it? No. Darn it! I have to do it again. Let's do it again. I have a lot to say about the back, the behind the curtain. Although I haven't worked on a, I've worked with Unity before, but I haven't worked on directly on like with with like a PS4, Switch, Wii U, or Xbox One dev kit. I'm really curious what those look like, but I don't have the funds to be be doing that. I'd have to make a game first. Did I get it? No. Nah. 